In this video, I'll show you how to set up the TSL 1166 and 1128 sled readers with the Asset Connect app. Start by turning on the reader. Both the 1166 and 1128 can easily be turned on by pulling the trigger or pressing the power button. The reader will need to be connected to the computer using the Windows standard Add Bluetooth device process prior to using it with Asset Connect. To do this, from the Start menu, select Settings. Then in the Settings window, select Devices. From inside the Devices window, be sure the Bluetooth and Other Device submenu is selected. Then click on the Add Bluetooth or Other Device button. Make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Select Bluetooth from this window. Then all the Bluetooth devices within range will be displayed. The TSL readers will show up as the six-digit serial number followed by the type 1166 or 1128. Be sure that the reader is still awake and has not timed out. Click on the reader in this list. Make sure to allow time for the connection and pairing process to complete. When finished, your reader has been paired to the computer and is ready to be used by Asset Connect. This process will not need to be repeated for this computer. Next, you'll need to determine the outgoing COM port for the reader. Asset Connect needs to know which outgoing COM port is used to communicate with the paired reader. This can be found in the Bluetooth settings window that can be opened from within settings or the taskbar. From the start menu, select settings. Then in the settings window, select devices. From inside the devices window, be sure the Bluetooth and other device submenu is selected. Then scroll down to find the link called more Bluetooth options and click on it to open the Bluetooth settings window. Within the Bluetooth settings window, select the COM ports tab. Determine the COM port number that matches the paired reader and outgoing port direction. Make sure to remember this COM port number. This number will not change for this reader and it can be recorded for future use. At this point, you can close the settings window. Next, you can open the Asset Connect app and enter the settings menu. Select the TSL 1166-1128 from the Reader Model drop-down menu. Make sure to select the correct COM port number from the outgoing COM port drop-down. Then click on Connect. Your TSL 1166 or 1128 status LED should change to glow steady blue and the initialization process will take place. Allow time for the connection to be complete and the message pane will say connected to TSL 1166 slash 1128 on the appropriate COM port number. Asset Connect will now exit the settings screen after connecting and enter the inventory screen. And now you can begin use of the Asset Connect with your TSL 1166 or 1128 reader. For more information, go to emerson.com slash asset tag.